have been wanting tacos and we got tacos. Wash her up a little bit, my baby girl. And child, washing bottles is for the birds. <laughs> but that's my life, so that's where we at with it. Can you bring me those bottles that are on the bed right there? And it's never ended. Every time I feel like I, I think I'm done washing bottles, there uh -huh. comes two more that are somewhere in the room because they were from overnight that we forgot to bring back into the kitchen. Now, I've washed a few dishes for us that we had. Now child, look at all these dishes or bottle pieces and parts like that I gotta wash. <laughs> so let's get to going. I'm gonna eat. Um, I just finished washing all of our bottle pieces. I'm about to put them in the sterilizer, go shower, do a little work to prepare for tomorrow and go to sleep. We are out to eat with my mom, grandma, and so really I came to pick up a few items but then we were hungry so we decided to eat so now we're just waiting to order we just got here with appetizer we got calamari and blackberry lemonade and we got a cheese pizza where's the ketchup um which one I want to smell bitter peach Okay, time for us to get out of here. Oh, child, my hair. <laughs> We're getting it done tomorrow. But just dropped off my car um, to be repaired. One of your clothes. Yeah. I can't wait to um, get another upgrade. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I just dropped off the um, the car to get here. Hopefully, it's nothing, you know, crazy. Good thing is, I haven't been driving anyway, so um, we're not like I don't need I don't I don't need it right now. Um, so they're gonna let me know how long that's gonna take. So now we're going to get a rental just in case I need to be going somewhere and then go to my parents house because I need to finish like get my stuff from over there because I've been like taking piece by piece and give away a lot of stuff because I'm going through my closet and literally get, giving away a lot of clothes like I got stuff in there that I have never even worn still got tags on it I'm just like it's gotta go I haven't worn it in all this time and I'm gonna probably post some shoes or in some other items on my Poshmark because if I haven't worn it in like at least a year, even with the pandemic, I'm, I'm getting rid of it. So that's what we're doing right now. And then I'm gonna go with Ashley later because we're supposed to go get our, um, go to the nail salon, get our nails done and pedicure. So there's that. We are now in another grocery store getting um, wine. And then I came to try to get some stuff for the baby, but they didn't have what I needed here. So we're keeping it for sure. No, if you like a sweet Riesling, this is a good option. Um, I typically like something sweet, semi sweet, dry. Um, but this one's, this one's pretty good. And I think it's only like $9. It's nice. How you know? Look at the little baby. Hi. Yeah. Hi, mama. Hi. That's your little cough to get our attention. I don't know where she learned that from. Okay, we are back home. I am getting ready to cook some lasagna. So, um, we have not eaten today and I'm starving. So, I'm going to try to get this done. What? Okay. 
I'm gonna learn how to play food once I become, you know, a pro at cooking. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, Kari and I are on the way to brunch with my aunt. Um, we haven't had any just, you know, time together. So she's like, let's do lunch. A brunch, rather. So that's where we are on our way to. Cakes are here. We are back home. We're getting ready to leave again because we're going to my parents' house now. So, here we go. Hey guys, okay, so I just left Walmart. I hate going to Walmart, but I had to. <laughs> um, so I just left Walmart. I need to go um, drop off a package. I um, actually like three packages of stuff um, that I'm sending off I have been kind of busy today but it's all good I feel so good talking to y'all again because it's been a little minute since we have since I've been vlogging um, but I'm excited to be vlogging because I enjoy it okay why am I over here hey guys so it's Sunday we're getting ready for we're on the way to my nephew's birthday party. It is at like a kids gym or something like that. Um, so yeah, this should be fun. This is like Kari's first birthday party. <laughs> Connection unsuccessful. Not have been hoisted around. Not, Not you want to be seen. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Little chunky. Chunky chunky. Look at this overgrown kid. She couldn't wait to get on here. <laughs> I them on the kids toys. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> hey guys. It is a productive Monday. I am literally so busy today. Um, I actually, uh, featuring Miss Kari, <laughs> um, I actually wrote a list of stuff that I have to do today and I'm getting it done and it's a whole lot of things and I'm just like, <sighs> okay. Um, so I think I might've mentioned this in a previous clip or something like that, but maybe I didn't, I don't know, but I'm taking a tax course to officially be able to prepare taxes. Um, I think I've talked about this before about me still using my <laughs> degree, even though I don't like work for a firm per se. Um, I do bookkeeping and stuff like that right now, but I wanted to like officially cause I know how to like prepare taxes and, you know, read, uh, read the forms and things like that just from like being working for an accounting firm before, but I wanted to actually be qualified to prepare taxes. So I decided to take a course this year um, since I was able to get into a class early enough. I wanted to do it last year, but I waited too late to um, register for this year, if that makes sense, like this past tax season. So I have to now be able to take the course now is to prepare taxes for next tax season, like next spring tax season. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I feel like being that I already am familiar with it, with the knowledge that I have before and me doing bookkeeping, it makes it a whole lot easier to understand deductions, tax prep, and you know, things of that sort. So I have that class today. We'll see how this goes. And I'm now helping my mother mail off book orders. Um, 
because she's unable to. So I'm trying to get y'all books to y'all. Not this girl chewing on my fingers. <laughs> post office being closed and I don't know why <laughs> so I'm like looking it up to try to figure out what is the deal why they close it's Columbus Day why is this a holiday like what are we doing here <laughs> what are we doing here so I guess I'll have to come back to um, drop off orders because the post office is closed in observance of Columbus Day. So I'm just gonna return the stuff for Kari that does not work, get something to eat and go home so that I can, oh, actually need to go to my PO box because I forgot I need to go pick up this stuff. I am back at home. I just got out the shower. Um, it was a long day, <laughs> but I got through it. Um, I felt just so productive. So, um, I just showered. Kari is sleeping. Um, so King and I are going to, um, pop popcorn and watch TV because it's like our nightly thing. <laughs> um, probably watch The Housewives because that's what I've been wanting to catch up on and he just kind of like watches it with me because it's really no choice <laughs> unless he wants to come in the living room and watch TV. Oh, so this weekend I have my first official speaking event. I am very nervous about it, but excited at the same time. Um, it is going to be a virtual event and from my understanding it is a free event, I think. Um, you just gotta log on. It's for mental health. You know, October it's also Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, there's a, quite a few things that happen this month, awareness month, so that is pretty cool. Um, I'll try to have the information linked. I've been posting it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, um, because that's kind of like where I post quick stuff and, you know, when I don't get a chance to post here on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, like, all the time. <laughs> so, you can see me on there. Um, but yeah. I'm kind of excited about it, but I'm very, very nervous because I'm like, what made her think that I could do this? Oh. But I got this. I, I, I'm, I'm getting prepared. It's going to be a great event. I attend every year, so to be speaking, it's kind of crazy. Um, I mentioned it earlier. Ashley and I are officially landlord's child. <laughs> we are gifted property. There's actually three properties. Um... And we're like taking them like property pro property re um having or like renovating them and that has been quite the journey <laughs> because obviously we're new to this. Um and then I don't know if you guys well some of you probably have been following me since like over a year ago, but we like completely redid our house. So coming from that experience and doing this, it's kinda like, oh my goodness, there's so much that goes into contracting and renovations especially when you want to like completely redo everything knocking walls down changing rooms and stuff like that it's a lot um but it's very exciting it's very rewarding as well um this is kind of like getting our feet wet until i um, mean before we go into like the big projects that we plan on doing so i'm excited about it i cannot believe like this actually happening and that this is like what i've always been you know dreaming about so to speak like it's all coming up it's all coming like together and i'm just very excited about that so hopefully as we get um more 
into it i can like find some kind of way to incorporate that kind of information into videos if that's something that you guys are interested in but i don't want to just be you no know, purpose and stuff that nobody want to see <laughs> like that so um it is weird because we are the ones to have to enforce stuff and I always that whole age thing to me still trips me out because i'm like I will like I'm I'm going to be respected, but at the same time I want to respect you as well. Like this has to be a mutual thing. So I'm usually the buffer between the people and Ashley because she's like, uh no. And I'm just like, okay, let's let's try to reward that maybe, you know, set in a different kind of way. Let's, you know, try to revisit this a little bit. So that has been interesting, but that's my best friend. That's my girl. So, you know, we balance each other out. We've been making it work, doing our thing and I'm proud that my mom kind of let us spearhead it and then we have our dad there to like enforce things <laughs> if it needs to go down that far. But anyway, um, enough of me rambling. I'm going to go ahead and close out this video and this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, drop a nice comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I post again. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.